Two weeks ago, a bill passed quietly in the Ohio Senate that could someday have a profound effect on some of the old manufacturing land around Youngstown. First News anchor Stan Boney has the latest effort to clean up some of the state's worst brownfield sites. On Youngstown's Albert Street is the old Republic Hose Factory, where trees are now growing where people once worked. Behind the fence along Warren's Pine Avenue is where the RG Steel Company once had its big mill. Both are among Ohio's 10,000 brownfield sites, former manufacturing properties that need cleaned up and reused. With brownfields, what we noticed is that there's a lot of um, confusion. There's not really a strong game plan that the state of Ohio has. To change the game plan, Youngstown Area State Senator Mike Ruley wants a survey of all of Ohio's brownfield sites. There's no standard. There's no uh, procedure or list of uh, requirements that would put you in that category. His bill calling for the survey has passed the Senate, is in the House, and Ruley says the governor seems okay with it. There's really not a whole lot of remediation funding. Julie Green of the Trumbull County Planning Commission deals with brownfields. One she'd like cleaned up is the old copper weld site in Champion, and Green will take whatever help she can get. You know, having more resources available to clean up these um, sites and provide new opportunities for uh, businesses to locate here. Once the survey is complete, Senator Ruley wants to use excess liquor tax money to pay for the cleanups, which can range from 28 to 67 million dollars a year. Communities will then recommend three to five properties they would like to see done. We figured we could probably do anywhere between 20 to 50 projects a year on the money that's already being allocated for the, the, liquor, uh, the liquor tax. Senator Ruley is all for beautifying Ohio, but he says that's not what these bills are for. He says he wants to clean up these old industrial properties and make them usable for companies to locate here again. In Youngstown, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.